All right, another sign you're getting older is that you start caring what your grass looks like. Check this out, the weed and feed. We're gonna make sure that this kills weeds and feeds the yard at the same time. Get that nice and spread out. What do you guys use? Try to make the grass look decent, you know what I mean? Every little bit helps. Hit the subscribe button, smash that like button. Each video, dislike it if you choose, unsubscribe if you want, whatever. You're here, we appreciate it. Just watch the video, put a comment down below on what you like or want to see different next time. But just take the time to enjoy this day. Super grateful, as always. You guys keep being awesome, keep being amazing, and keep on influencing the world. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we are out tinkering again on the Duramax here. It's just nice to have her back and now we're trying to do some things that maybe we should have addressed a long time ago. But if you guys seen in the last video, we did get a chance to hook up a small little dump trailer behind the thing. It did have quite a bit of weight on it honestly um, for just having that little trailer. But anyways, we did have a light come on. Um, actually, I'll be honest, this light's been coming on for like two years now, randomly, and I've never addressed it because we really don't tow with this truck ever. But nonetheless, now that we are maybe going to start towing a little bit more, I'd like to get this thing addressed. So what I'm talking about on the dash, it is saying service trailer brake system or something like that. Check this clip out real quick and let me know if you guys have seen this before or had any experience with this. So yeah, that's basically what it's doing. It's been doing this thing randomly. Like it's almost when you turn the truck on and just start driving within the first couple of minutes, this annoyance continues to come on bing 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 annoys the heck out of you and then once you get going and driving the thing just goes away so it's super weird it's bothersome a little bit but i do want to know why it's caused what's causing this and what's going on so if you had this happen before drop some comments below on what you did to fix it because it is bugging me but we're going to dive into that today and kind of see what we can come up with all right not this door this door Anyways, what I'm talking about here is this trailer brake system that comes standard on these Duramaxes nowadays. But this is where you do, I think you actually activate it here, push that button to turn the trailer system on, and then you can adjust the gain here, plus minus for whatever, if your trailer does have electric brakes. The one we used didn't have electric brakes, we just used the brakes on the truck, which is a good thing that we had, them brand new brakes. So that way they held up nice and good for us. But anyways, yeah, we wanna figure out why that annoying thing's coming on and where it's coming from. So you know me, I took to the forums, I took to YouTube, checked out a couple things, read some things on Google on what to look for. I think there's a module underneath here on the frame, uh, maybe underneath that spare tire. We might have to drop that down to get to it. So anyways, it could either be the switch, like you've seen inside the truck, could be a relay, could be a bad wire, could be a blown fuse, that might be the best, but would it even come on at all? Or is it the module underneath there that's on the frame? Do we need to swap that out? That's kind of what I want to get out of this video is, what do I need to do? What do I need to check? Because there's like three or 3,000 different things that could be wrong with it. So everybody's got their opinions, it's the internet. I'll take it for what it's worth, but a lot of times people are right and they know what they're talking about. So hopefully you do too. But stick with me as we diagnose this problem. The next day. Man, our new grass is coming up already. That is great. Even though this Midwest weather is absolute crap. It is literally, it was 80 degrees yesterday when I was filming the first part. And now it's like 35 and gonna snow. This is terrible. Can't stand this Midwest weather. It needs to make up its mind. It just be warm okay so we'll start with the easy one checking the fuse and on the fuse block here it looks like it's number one lucky number one trailer break how about that little 30 amp fuse i believe it should be that purple one well we'll try to see this but the fuse definitely looks just fine of course it can't be the easy fix, so we'll put the fuse back in and try something else. So now we are underneath the truck. Here is the spare tire. And then right up in here is a bunch of harnesses. 
as you can see look at that nice rust but a bunch of harnesses that plug in there that look like they run to the back here but I'm looking for the actual module I don't know if I gotta move this brick or what. I was hoping I didn't have to. Now I'm looking through the spare tire here, see if we can get this to focus. But see, there's a Delphi harness here that's connecting to this module right here. I wonder if that's what we need. Yeah, obviously I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, so I'm kind of looking for some advice here before we strip this thing down and not know what we're doing. So that's kind of what we're up against here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just not sure what to go after here, and I don't want to strip it down and spend a bunch of money and buy all the wrong stuff, even though it could probably just replace everything and make sure we're good. But, yep, it's feedback time. Please drop some comments below to help me out, to help everybody else out, and maybe we can get this project wrapped up in a hurry and we can get the next video so yeah this one's kind of like diagnosing the problem what is the problem and then we'll do a follow-up one once we get parts ordered get things fixed and go off of what you guys say but you guys have been such a great help and blessing and i just can't thank you enough it's just so weird it's like now i've driven it for like eight trips in a row now and i can't get the light to come on at all things so goofy i can't figure it out all right, on a nice cloudy day, let's roll up to the dealership and see what they got. See if they got anything good. Always fun to tire kick. You never know what you're going to see on the lot. Y'all got any cars? Oh, they got everything put away right now. Oh, wait, here's some. What do we got? What do we got? Got a 5.0. Got some Camaros. Oh, there's some Corvettes down here. Oh, boy. Let's look at this bad boy. Look at them C7s. Oh my God. Wow, what in the heck is going on out here? Look at that, it's a grand sport, boy. 2019, probably out of our price range. What's this? Soft top, oh, we don't want a soft top. Do we, bud? We don't want a soft top. But the hard top is crazy looking. These things look like straight up supercars. Every time we come up here, I just want one more and more. Yeah. Oh, God, it's ridiculous. Yeah. This one have a hard top. That one's got a hard top. Whoa, and it's red. Even the newer Camaros look good. I don't know, guys. What are we gonna get? What do we need to get? Need some input, drop some comments. What's your favorite sports car? 50, 60, 70, 100, how much are we gonna spend? I don't know, too much when we're here, though. Too much. And on another note, one of these pump tracks opened up next to us. And I don't know, can you ride the little Stasic bikes on there? I want to know for little man here if we can ride on this thing. We got to check it out and read more about it. Check out these ramps. This thing looks freaking sick. Bank corners and everything. And it's made out of asphalt. Wow. Never been to one of these boogers before, but it looks super cool. All right, we made it back home from the dealership without buying anything again. One of these days though, it's gonna happen, I promise you. Keep patient, keep watching. We're well on our way there. But on a side note, this video got away from us per usual. I'm always on to something. I'm always thinking 20,000 steps ahead and I'm bouncing from wall to wall. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the journey. Thank you so much for being with us. Let us know what we're gonna do to get this trailer brake system going. We gotta get the trailer ready to go. We're honestly thinking about getting Little Man into motocross this year. We're checking out some local tracks and we're gonna need to be able to haul the race trailer full of all the goodies. If we're able to start them out this young, we will see. So with that, give a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.